So welcome, this is a lecture for section 9.4, MGF 1106, Liberal Arts Math. My name is Jorge Gavillan. So the objectives for this lesson is we're going to understand the idea of volume in basic three-dimensional objects. We're going to be able to apply the volume and surface area formulas for cylinders. And then we're going to understand the relationship between volume and surface area for formulas for cylinders, spheres, and cones. So we measure the volume of a three-dimensional figure using cubic units. So a cube whose volume is one cubic inch has sides that are one inch each. So the volume and the surface area of a rectangular solid. So if a rectangular solid has length L, width W, and height H, the volume of the solid is equal to L times W times H. And the surface area of the solid is going to be equal to 2 times LW plus 2 times LH plus 2 times WH. So in this example, here we have 5 by 3, because it's going to be 5 on one side, 3 on the other, so it's 15 square inches. This one has is 5 by 4, so it's 20 square inches. And this one's 3 times 4, which is 12 square inches. And so then it's going to, it, essentially we can slice this into 61 inch cubes. Now, volume equals area of the base times the height. So if an object has a flat top and a base and sides that are perpendicular to the base, as shown here in the image, uh, then if the area of the base is A and the height is H, then the volume will be A times the height. So for example, which block contains the greater volume? So here we have the one on the left and the one on the right. So let's see. So the first one is a trapezoidal block. So the area of the base is equal to 21 square inches. The volume is equal to 84 cubic inches. Then the triangular block, the area of the base, is about 25.5 and the volume is 76.5 cubic inches so therefore the trapezoidal block has the greater volume. The next thing we're going to talk about are cylinders. If volume and the surface area of a right cylinder, so a right cylinder, a right circular cylinder with radius r and height h has volume v equals pi r squared h and then the surface area is 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r squared. For example, an art supply store sells paint solvent in a cylindrical can that has a diameter of 4 inches and a height of 6 inches. Another can of the same solvent has a diameter twice as large, the height of the can is the same, and costs three times as much as the smaller can. Which one is the better deal? Now the volume of the smaller can is 75.4 cubic inches, the volume of the larger can is 300.14 cubic inches, and you can see the formulas that we use. So the large can contains four times as much solvent, but course only three times as much. So that's a better deal. Now, again, here we have the uh, art supply store sells uh, paint solvent. A uh, can has a, four, a diameter of four inches and a height of six inches. Now the can solvent has a diameter twice as large. The height is the same. And the course three times as much as a smaller can. Compare the surface areas of the two cans. So the smaller can has a surface area of 100.5 square inches and the larger can has a surface area of 251.2 square inches. Here's another example. What are the dimensions of a can that will contain one cubic foot of liquid and that will have the smallest amount of surface area? So here we have the solution. We have a small radius, large radius, and then an ideal radius. So the solution would be that pi r squared h equals 1. So the height is equal to 1 divided by pi r squared. Now the surface area is 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r squared. Here we're going to substitute h because we solved it here uh, at the beginning into the formula for surface area. So then surface area is going to be equal to 2 divided by r plus 2 pi r squared. Now the ideal radius will be between 0.5 and 0.6 uh, and then we'll get a radius of about 0.5419. Now cones and spheres. Volume and surface area of a right circular cone. A right circular cone with a height h and a base r has a volume that is one-third pi r squared h and a surface area that's equal to pi r square root of r squared plus h squared. The cone has a volume one-third of that of a cylinder and you can see here in the diagram. So what is the volume and surface area of a cone with a height of 10 meters and a base radius of 8 meters? So the volume is one-third pi r squared h which turns out to be 669.87 cubic meters and the surface area 
is pi r square root of r squared plus h squared, which turns out to be 321.69 square meters. So here's an example. A state has a circular cone sheds for storing salt. The sheds will have a diameter of 30 feet and a height of 10 feet. Proposed larger sheds will either have a 10 foot longer diameter and the same height, or the same diameter and a 10 foot greater height. So let's calculate the volume for each of the proposed sheds. So the first one. When a diameter is increased, we'll get a volume of 4,187 cubic feet. And if the height is increased, we'll get a volume of 4,710 cubic feet. Again, the state has a circular cone sheds for storing salt. The sheds will have a diameter of 30 feet and a height of 10 feet. Proposed larger sheds will either have a 10 foot longer diameter and the same height, or the same diameter and a 10 foot greater height. Let's calculate the surface area for each of the proposed sheds. So the surface area when diameter is increased becomes 1,404 square feet. When the height is increased, it's 1,178 square feet. Okay, so let's look now at uh, a sphere. So volume and surface area of a sphere. So a sphere with a radius r has a volume that's equal to 4 thirds pi r cubed, and the surface area is 4 pi r squared. So cities replacing existing physical water tanks with a larger water tank. Now the new capacity of the tanks should be at least five times the capacity of the old water tanks. If the city purchases tanks that have a radius that is twice the radius of the old tanks, will these tanks satisfy the desired re requirements? So remember, it has to be at least five times. So the old tank is V equals 4 thirds pi r cubed. The new tanks, the new tanks has a radius that's twice the old. So here's the original volume. So it's going to be eight times that original volume. So the new tank volume will be eight times that of the old tank. We'll satisfy the conditions for the city. And that's the end of section 9.4. Thank you.